हेलो हो कर चालू करो ओके Uh, good evening everyone uh, my name is professor david sagal gile and i'll be teaching you the ninth uh, ninth chapter of uh, people development and environment uh, so today we are moving to the next topic the second topic that is human uh, and environment interaction anthropogenic anthropogenic uh, activities and their impacts uh, and their impacts on the environment we see that uh, this particular topic speaks about human beings and their interaction with the uh, environment and the anthropogenic activities and their impacts on the environment now first let's understand what is the meaning of environment uh, environment is the natural world that is uh, the world that we live in for example the land the air the water in which people animals and plants are living together or what we call as the habitat uh, or environment can also be in other words can also be called as surroundings so we all are surrounded by a beautiful environment the natural world uh, the meaning of anthropogenic is uh, environmental change caused or influenced by people directly or indirectly the various environmental changes that are caused or influenced by the people by the activities of the people uh, they may be direct activities or indirect activities so anthropogenic activities do not only mean that human activities are to meet the demand for food housing clothing and, and energy it also includes all those developmental activities which directly or indirectly affect nature so naturally uh, so ultimately we see that all the anthropogenic activities that human beings are doing on this planet earth they are directly or indirectly affecting the nature and we see that in a very adverse ways uh, human beings uh, are uh, affecting the uh, the climatic conditions they are affecting the uh, people around them they are affecting the nature and the environment as well as the atmosphere which is around them so here we see uh, the meaning of anthropogenic is environmental change that is caused or influenced by the people directly or indirectly so we see that people uh, not only do activities uh, to meet their demands for food or housing or clothing or energy uh, they also do the indirect activities like the developmental activities which has got an adverse effect on the environment as such we see that right from the beginning man has been exploiting nature man has been exploiting his uh, Uh, his surroundings man has been exploiting all the people all the things that are around him and we see and now that we have come to a point that uh, we cannot go backwards it is a irreversible process we cannot change the things that we have done to a greater extent then what is the relationship between environment and human beings environment gives us food water fuel medicines building material etc so all the raw materials that are required for human beings the environment provides us whether it is food or whether it is water or whether it is fuel to drive our cars or locomotives or whether it is medicines or building material etc apne pale mein taki manushya madhe ani environment madhe kya tacha parisara madhe kai ta tikani nata hai 
आपल्याला एन्व्हायरमेंट जे आहे आपले सराउंडिंग एरिया जे आहे ते आपल्याला खाद्य देतं ते आपल्याला पाणी पुरवतं आपल्याला औषधी पण देतं आणि बिल्डिंग मटेरियल पण त्या ठिकाणी देतं थ्रू सायन्स अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी दो सायन्स अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी हॅव अडवान्स्ड अँड बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट वी हॅव बेनिफिटेड अ लॉट बट इट ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस पोल्युशन अँड डॅमेज द एन्व्हायरमेंट now what has happened through science and technology man has invented so many different uh, uh, so many different things every day is doing more and more research and development rochcha roz manushya ha sanshodan tya tikani karat hai ani science and technology cha uchchank tya tikani apan tya tikani gatlela hai ani kasha sathi apan te karat aahot ki apan navin navin technologies meun navin navin ani aapla jivan sudrav यासाठी आपण पुष्कळस रिसर्च आणि डेव्हलपमेंट करत असतो परंतु ह्या सर्व गोष्टींचा विपरीत परिणाम कशावर झालेला आहे हा आपल्या परिसरावर झालेला आहे आपल्या आजूबाजूच्या पृथ्वीवर त्याचा मोठा परिणाम त्या ठिकाणी झालेला आहे इट हॅज डॅमेज द एन्व्हायरमेंट द इम्पॅक्ट ऑफ दिस इज ऑल्सो ऑन ह्युमन बिंग्स लाईक हेल्थ रिलेटेड इश्यूज अँड सोशल इकॉनॉमिक डेव्हलपमेंट any uh, and also one important factor we see that the more we uh, try to destroy the environment or the more the environment is polluted or is damaged it has a direct uh, impact on the health of the people it uh, it also has a direct impact on the social and economic development of man like take for example if you are throwing going to throw garbage uh, or uh, all the waste materials on the road what is going to happen it is going to cause diseases germs are going to spread through it and it is going to uh, cause lot of diseases and sicknesses among people aplal pahile me ta ki prithvi cha ani prithvi cha ani manushya cha ha he javar cha nata hai apan jasti jast tya tikani science and technology tya tikani vaparto navin navin utpadan apan tya tikani produce karto kasha sathi aplo jivan changla hone sathi aplo jivan jivan sudharit hone sathi parantu he kartana apan kay karto ki apan tya tikani prithvi var ki aplya परिसरावर त्या ठिकाणी मोठा त्या ठिकाणी विपरीत परिणाम त्या ठिकाणी घडून आणतो आणि एवढंच नाही परंतु ज्या वेळेस आपल्या परि आपला जो परिसर आहे पृथ्वी जी आहे किंवा सृष्टी जी आहे त्याच्यावर ज्या वेळेस काही परिणाम होतात किंवा त्याच्यावर ज्या वेळेस काही अॅडवर्स इफेक्ट होतात त्या त्याच वेळेला आपल्याला पाहायला मिळतं की आपल्यावर देखील त्याचे परिणाम त्या ठिकाणी त्या ठिकाणी दिसू लागतात आणि आपल्याला ते परिणाम त्या ठिकाणी भोगावं लागतात आपल्याला पाहायला मिळतं की पोल्युशन मग पुष्कळ असे त्या ठिकाणी आजार निर्माण झालेले आहेत आपल्याला पाहायला मिळतं की ज्या वेळेस आपण रस्त्यावर जातो त्या ठिकाणी इतकी धूळ असते त्या ठिकाणी पुष्कळस पुष्कळसा धूर असतो कार्बन मोनॉक्साईड त्या ठिकाणी आणि कार्बन डायऑक्साईड आणि जे पॉइझनस गॅसेस जे आहेत ते ते विषारी वायू जे आहेत ते गाड्यांद्वारे सोडण्यात येतात आणि आपल्याला पाहायला मिळतो की त्याचा विपरीत परिणाम आपल्या आपल्या तब्येतीवर कसा होतो की आपल्या प्रकृतीवर कसा होतो की लोकांना त्या ठिकाणी श्वास घ्यायचा त्रास होतो एलर्जी त्यांना त्यांच्या जीवनामध्ये वाढते आणि त्यांचं जीवन हे चांगलं राहत नाही तर सो दॅट इज अ ग्रेट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एन्व्हायरमेंट अँड द ह्युमन बिंग्स through uh, though the relation between human activities and environment are multifaceted they can be grouped in in uh, major two types of activities uh, there are many many uh, different uh, uh, relationship between human activities and the environment but we will uh, try to classify them uh, under two different heads they are they are use of natural resources like land water soils food minerals animals uh, animals and plants and the second one is production of uh, waste like agriculture industry and mining and from our own bodies so here we see uh, here we see that there are um, uh, there are there are two types of major activities uh, that can be uh, interrelated with environment and people uh, they are the use of natural resources like land water soils food minerals animals and plant this first category we see that man is exploiting the natural resources whether it is land or water or soil or food minerals animals as well as plants apla pala mete ko manushya ta tikani je natural resources ta chalte bhuti ahet jase ki ta tikani ta cha azu bazu cha parisar ahe ki pani ahe ki va ki va ta tikani zameen ahe 
जे वन है मिनरल्स तला मिलता है जानवर अनि जे जानवर अनि प्लांट्स जाए तो ते ते तंसा तो क्या कर करता सो तैटिकानी तो वापर करता सो आपने पाले में तो कि तैटिकानी जमीनी से उपयोग तो बिल्डिंग्स बांधने साथी मोटे मोटे कॉम्प्लेक्स बांधने साथी कर तो अनिमक क्यों शहर एंड शहर वाड़ों ने साथी तैटिकानी जागे से उपयोग किया जाता है परंतु त्यागेस का होता कि जागा तैटिकानी लोग वापरता है परंतु तैटिकांचे झाड़ तैटिकानी कापले जाता है अनेक तथा मोड़ तैटिकानी झाड़ राहत नहीं अनेक तथा एक एडवर्स इफेक्ट तैटिकानी तैटिकानी त्याग परिसर और वो लोग तो अपना पहले में तो अपन तैटिकानी नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस पानी सुधा पर मोटे प्रमाण में तैटिकानी वापर तो तैटिकानी यानी पानी ऐसा पन जर अतिरिक्त वापर जर अपन तैटिकानी केला तर तैटिकानी देखे लापला पहले में तो कि हेलो अन्यथा जरिया अपन तैटिकानी अतिरिक्त वापर केला तरिया अपने लाल तैटिकानी पायल में तो कि तैसा अपन दुष्पर है ना हम अपने लाल पायल में तो मिनरल्स काटने साथी क्या खनिज काटने साथी अपने लाल तैटिकानी पायल में तो कि तैटिकानी तैटिकानी मोटा मोटा माइंस तैटिकानी खनले जाता था आने तथा मोड़ देखे पृथ्वी और तथा वाइट परिणाम होतो जानवर जानवरांच अपन तथिका ने सेवन करता सो कि वा जे प्लांट्स हैं ते पन अपन तोड़ो तस्तो कि वा जाड़नची कत्तल करूँ अपन तथिका ने फर्निशर वगर तथिका ने बनो तो आने दूसरा भाग जो आप हम बकतो सेकंड पार्ट वी सी इज़ द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ � and the uh, second part of uh, uh, relationship that we see or the second kind of group that we see is the production of waste which is uh, which is generated by agriculture uh, which is uh, generated by the industries uh, we see that through industries also uh, through industries also so much of waste and waste products are generated uh, then um, uh, then we also see that from our own bodies also we generate so much of waste products and this has got a direct uh, direct impact on the environment that we live in. Then uh, we are going to look at the renewable and non-renewable -rene so resources. We see that we have got so many different resources uh, around us uh, which, we, uh, which nature provides us. Uh, which uh, the surroundings provides us. Aplas kada pushka she resources that he can in Mirta Taplela, Aplia Azubazu Chaparisa Ramadun, the she that he can pushka she resources Mirta Kai upon Punna Tair Kurushakto, Kiva Kai upon Punna Kurushakatne. So there are two types of resources one is renewable resource and the other one is the non renewable resources. So what are the renewable resources? Uh, they are the ones which can be replenished by natural means. Example, solar, oxygen, water, and biomass. So all these kinds of uh, uh, all these kinds of uh, things uh, or resources can be replenished. Like take for example, like the sun is the infinite source of energy. It gives light. Uh, the more and more you harness from it, it still gives us energy. It still gives us light and heat. Oxygen is also created by plants. The water is also, we have this rain cycle and this cycle continues uh, 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 continues together. So here we see that these are the renewable sources of energy. That means they can, they are, uh, they are not going to deplete or they are not going to get finished. In a sampnare tatikani resources side. Then the non-renewable resources are, they cannot be replenished by natural means and quickly uh, and quickly as a rate uh, they are consumed like minerals and fossil fuels such as oil coal and gas ata non renewable resources konte ahet je aplyala prithvi madun miltat je aplya aplya surroundings madun miltat parantu apan jar tyacha jast vapar kele kela tar te ashi velel ki te sampun jatil jase ki iron ore hai manganese ore hai copper ore ahet kiwa je kai minerals ahet ते संपनारे अशे आहेत फॉसिल फ्यूल्स जसं आपण बघतो की पेट्रोल किंवा डिझेल किंवा त्या ठिकाणी नॅचरल गॅस 
आणि मग नंतर त्या ठिकाणी कोळसा आणि गॅस हे पण त्या ठिकाणी संपणारे अशा वस्तू आहेत आणि दीज रिसोर्सेस आर विल गेट ओव्हर ऍट वन टाइम सो इफ यू आर कंटिन्युअसली जस्ट हार्वेस्टिंग अँड रिमूव्हिंग द मिनरल्स फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड देन वी सी दॅट दे देर इज अ चान्स दॅट दे विल गेट ओव्हर व्हेरी सून then uh, the next uh, the terminology that we are going to see is the ecosystem the ecosystem all the uh, consists of all the living organisms like human beings animals plants etc and their physical environment like soil water air and land and the connections between them so what is the ecosystem the uh, ecosystem is uh, consists of all the living organisms sarva jeev jantu je prithvi par rahatat jase ki manushya manushya prani jo hai manantar janavar hai tya thikani jhad hai आणि त्यांचे जे फिजिकल एन्व्हायरमेंट आहेत किंवा त्यांना लाग ते ज्या त्या एन्व्हायरमेंट मध्ये जे राहतात फॉर एक्झाम्पल द सॉइल द वॉटर द एअर अँड द लँड अँड वॉट इज द कनेक्शन बिटवीन दम इज कॉल्ड ऍज द इकोसिस्टम ओव्हर एक्सप्लॉयटेशन ऑफ नॅचरल रिसोर्सेस डॅमेजेस द इकोसिस्टम वी सी दॅट द मोर अँड मोर नॅचरल रिसोर्सेस यू आर एक्सप्लॉयटिंग फ्रॉम द अर्थ इट इज गोइंग टू डॅमेज द इकोसिस्टम इकोसिस्टम इज लाईक अ चेन विच वन थिंग डिपेंड्स अपॉन द अदर अँड हेन्स वी ऑल्सो सी दॅट इट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर अस टू नॉट टू ओव्हर एक्सप्लॉय द नॅचरल रिसोर्सेस बट टू यूज दॅम वाईजली ऑर टू यूज दॅम स्पेअरिंगली सो दॅट Uh, so that we can leave it for the next or the future generations and even over exploitation the more and more of natural uh, resources we are going to consume or we are going to use it is going to damage the ecosystem like take for example if we are going to cut down the trees then naturally uh, the land will become barren it will have a adverse effect on the soil it will uh, the, the there will be a degradation of the soil then we see that uh, the the climatic conditions will change uh, then we'll, we we see that uh, the rainfall will be affected because of it and ultimately who is getting affected human beings are getting affected because of uh, because of their activities which they do against nature uh then then we move on to the human effect activities affecting environment what are the different activities that we do or human beings do which affect the environment or which affect our habitat the first one is loss of biodiversity then second is pollution the third is climate change then misuse of natural resources and the fifth one is erosion so these are the five main categories of uh, activities that we do which affects the environment on a very big scale the first one we let's look at the first one the loss of biodiversity Now what is biodiversity biodiversity is a variety of species living in an ecosystem so ecosystem is a space or a area and uh, we see there are so many different kinds of species that live over there there are birds there are uh, the uh, the different animals uh, then we see that there is a different kind of vegetation pushkarche jhadat ya tikani ahe ya tikani janavar ahe pakshi ahe insects are there uh and so many different kinds of things are there in a particular ecosystem so biodiversity is defined as what it is a variety of species living in an uh, in a particular ecosystem due to the increase in human settlements many forests are being cut now we see that uh this is a major trend people are migrating from villages into the cities and city and for cities to expand they have to cut down the different trees uh, different kinds of trees or that they have to cut down the forest for this, uh, for human beings to settle over there or to or, or to occupy the space over there this has led to a dis- reduction in the number of plant species now what has happened is that most of the plants are becoming extinct most of the plant uh, plant species are getting reduced many animals become homeless 
like take for example if there is a forest there will be some wild animals living over there but if the forest is not there where will the wild animals go so they will they will disappear or they will be killed or they will move from one place to the other the same thing is with birds the same thing is with insects uh, so uh, the sorry there was some network issue so the constantly changing climatic conditions and extinction of many ecosystems have also led to the loss of biodiversity so because of that uh, we see the constant changing climatic conditions and the extinction of so many different kinds of ecosystems has also led to the loss of the different biodiversity so many species are Uh, are gone from the uh, from our uh, areas. Let's like take for example, uh, we see the the sparrows, isn't it? Chimney is upon bokto. Apple per year, our mother, Sharan mother, how many different types of chimney are there? But on that chimney, the door is a little. Chimney, how much is apple? This is the snake. Why? Because uh, uh, because uh, the main thing is that we have destroyed the ecosystem because of uh, because of the harmful. Uh, Uh, rays or the waves of the telephone they have gone from one place to the other they have migrated from the cities so we do not so the sparrows and the little little birds small birds they have they have uh, they have lost their habitat or they have uh, gone away from this particular place then the second one is pollution now pollution is also a very very huge kind of uh, problem that we have created for ourselves okay now what are the different kinds of pollutions that we see uh, that, uh we see uh, there is water is polluted air air is polluted uh, our food is polluted and our surroundings are polluted atmosphere is polluted because of the different kinds of industry or because of the different kinds of human activities that are happening on the that we are, are doing so pollution is a major issue faced by us today so today we are fighting against pollution because pollution is leading uh, us to live a bad life it is causing so many diseases so many incurable diseases are caused because of pollution and uh, ultimately it is reducing the efficiency of human beings and at the same time it is also uh, it is also uh, uh, what to say it is also uh, cutting down the life span of human beings manje manushya cha vay dekhil ta tikani we see that we uh, human beings are causing an adverse effect on the environment and because of which the pollution is increasing day by day the wrongful disposal of waste on the roads in the water bodies leads to so we see uh, we dispose our waste on the roads we throw our garbage on the road uh, or uh, throw in the water bodies like rivers and lakes because which the the uh, sewage canals uh, sewage that is let into the uh, let out into the rivers and lakes as well as the industrial waste that is uh, that is left into the 
into the seas or into the rivers and into the lakes so this is also causing lot of uh, pollution uh, to the water bodies the harmful emission from these human made factories get released into the air causing air pollution at the same time we see that there are chemical industries and so many different kinds of industries which are continuously releasing poisonous gases uh, through their chimneys into the air and because of which the quality of air is getting uh, is getting uh, is getting bad day by day we also see that air pollution is increasing day by day because of which uh, people are getting uh, are having adverse effect upon their health not only uh, uh, human beings are suffering but also the entire ecosystem is suffering uh, day by day because of uh, these uh, different chemical factories uh, then we uh, Uh, then we move on to so the pollution is also something which is a very very uh, major issue that we are facing today we have to uh, stop pollution otherwise uh, it will create a great uh, great impact on the health of all the people who are living in that particular area we see that uh, uh, when industrial waste is left into the sea or into the into the rivers or into the lake uh, the first things to die is the fish the fish they die and uh, naturally that has an impact upon the food cycle so people will not get uh, uh, fish to eat so so naturally the human beings are only going to get affected to a greater extent even the uh, even if the rivers and lakes are going to are going to get polluted what is going to happen is that is uh, is that the water that we drink will be contaminated uh, and we will fall sick or we will uh, be uh, subject to different kinds of diseases and different kinds of sicknesses <laughs> then misuse of natural resources after pollution we have misuse of uh, uh, i'm sorry we have got the climate change uh we have got climate change one of the most significant in human impacts on the environment is deforestation uh due to deforestation and pollution there are significant changes in the weather conditions of a place now you all are aware of what is climate change and what impact it is already having on us and what impact great impact it is going to cause on the future generations so the most significant uh, human impact on the environment is deforestation deforestation means cutting down of trees or destroying the forest <laughs> we see in most of the uh, underdeveloped countries or the developing countries uh, the farmers uh, 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 the farmers uh, their land is not sufficient for them to yield the enough crop so what they do they will go to the jungles they will cut down the trees and they will use that land uh, for cultivating uh, their crops so this is a process of deforestation so uh, human impact on environment is the deforestation uh, due to deforestation and pollution there are significant changes in the weather conditions of a place not only the weather the weather changes drastically in a in a particular place like take for example the cities that we live in or pune or the different cities wherever we live uh, we see how climate has changed uh, throughout these uh, decades since the last few uh, years how climate has been changing and that is a direct result because the green cover has been lost zada kiwa jangal azubazu che todna talile hai tacha mulo pushkarsha shaharan var tacha viparit parinam ta tikani zalela hai ta tikani aplyala unala madhe kadi fan lagat nahuta kiwa ac lagat nahuta kiwa cooler lagat nahuta parantu ata ushnata evdi vadlile climate change mulo आणि आपण आजूबाजूचे झाड तोडल्यामुळे कि त्या ठिकाणी आपल्याला ए सी शिवाय होत नाही किंवा कुलर शिवाय त्या ठिकाणी आपल्याला जगता येत नाही सो पोल्युशन अँड डिफॉरेस्टेशन आर समथिंग विच आर कॉझिंग ड्रास्टिक वेदर चेंजेस और वेदर कंडिशन ऑन इन अ पर्टिक्युलर प्लेस वी सी दॅट यू मस्ट हॅव हर्ड अबाउट द अमेझॉन रेन फॉरेस्ट 
the Amazon region uh, of South America is uh, which has got thick jungles. Uh, it is considered as the oxygen factory or the oxygen producing plant of the world. It is not only going to affect one particular place, it is going to affect the entire world. So all the people of the world should, or all the countries of the world must take, uh, must take uh, concrete measures to, must take concrete measures to stop pollution as well as deforestation. The Amazon region, what people are doing, uh, the local people over there are doing is that they are cutting down trees and they are planting their crops over there. They are using these forests, cutting down forests and using that particular land for agriculture and which is uh, which because of which what is happening is the the oxygen level that is generated on the earth is reducing day by day what what they are doing they are not only breaking the trees but they are setting the forest on fire because of which uh, because of which so many poisonous gases and so much of smoke is generated uh, which is also uh, which is also a reason why oxygen levels on this planet are decreasing day by day. We, you must have heard about uh, our capital city, in, uh, Delhi, that there is so much of pollution in Delhi, isn't it? Now, why this pollution is caused? It is not only caused because of the, uh, it is not only caused because of uh, the, the, the vehicles or the cars and the motorcycles that are moving in Delhi or because of the heavy population or dense population. It is because the surrounding areas like Punjab and Haryana, what the farmers do after they cut the crops, after they harvest the crop, they will set their fields on fire. So because of which what is happening, the, the, the smoke and uh, the pollution that is caused, it moves on to the capital city of Delhi and, we, and because of which Delhi is the, most, uh, is the most polluted city in India. And because of which so many people are falling sick, so many people are having health issues. <laughs> These changes when happening in a prolonged chain are called as climate change. So deforestation, pollution, when they are happening continuously for a long period of time, uh, we, we call it as the, it leads to climate change. Deforestation causes a delay in, in the arrival of monsoon and the purification of air. So, because plants and uh, uh, jungles are cut down, well, what it is uh, giving, uh, what it is leading to, the monsoons are decreasing. The amount of rainfall is decreasing. At the same time, uh, the uh, the seasons are changing. That means, if uh, uh, in in olden times we see that sixth uh, of June, uh, the monsoon used to come into into Maharashtra, isn't it? On 6th of June, most of the cities and most of the places in Maharashtra will get the first monsoon showers. But today we see that after uh, that the monsoon is prolonged. That means uh, we see that the monsoon is delayed. Uh, sometimes 15th June also there is no rain uh, and the rains usually start in July or in August uh, because of the climate change. Industrialization increases the level of, of harmful gases in the atmosphere. Now, the more the industries, the more the pollution it, it is causing into the environment and which is a very, very serious factor. Then misuse of natural resources. The next one is misuse of natural resources. The misuse or over-exploitation of natural resources also has a human impact on environment. It puts a lot of stress on the environment to recreate these natural resources. Not all natural resources can be recreated. Some of them like petroleum take thousands of years to get replenished. Now, the human beings are also misusing the natural resources. They are over exploiting the natural resources because of which uh, it is creating or a load on the environment because of which the environment is suffering. It puts a lot of stress on the environment to recreate these natural resources, isn't it? So the environment uh, cannot create them in one day or cannot uh, replenish them. Uh, so it, uh, so most of the uh, natural resources are also lost. 
not all natural resources can be recreated all natural resources cannot be recreated uh, like take for example uh, uh, a tree when you cut down a tree if you plant another tree it can be recreated it can take the place of the old tree but most of the natural resources like mining like removing the coal or removing oil and natural gas and petroleum from the earth uh, it takes thousands of years for that uh, petroleum to get replenished or to uh, come back to its original form then the next one is erosion another major human impact on the environment is er erosion the deforestation and the littering of the soil makes it more prone to erosion due to the uprooting of trees the soil becomes loose and can easily be carried away by air or by floods <laughs> so soil erosion is also uh, 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 is also caused by the human beings it is a adverse effect on the environment now uh, we see that it is the it is the plants or the trees the root of these trees they hold the soil isn't it and if the trees are only cut down then the soil becomes loose it can be easily carried away by air or by floods during or uh, or during the rainy season we see that this mud or the silt is 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 lost it is the tops uh, the top cover of the earth is lost uh, and this particular top cover uh, of the earth the soil uh, uh, the uh, uh, the soil is responsible for uh, bearing so many uh, uh, agricultural product pro products and because the soil erosion takes place the land becomes uh, infertile or the fertility of the land is lost at the same time we see that this particular uh, mud or this particular silt or this particular soil is carried uh, where is it carried it is carried into the into the rivers because of which the rivers are also getting overloaded with this particular soil <laughs> then uh, the relation between population and environment uh, we see that the world population is ever increasing isn't it uh, the cities are getting crowded more and more uh, the birth rate is increasing more and more and we see that there are so many other uh, what to say there are so many uh, adverse effects that are caused because of the uh, ever increasing population the increase in the human population causes overcrowding uh, when the human population increases cities gets overcrowded villages get overcrowded that means more people when more people are there they will require more food they will require more resources Uh, and where will they uh, where will they go they will directly go to the environment and exploit the environment uh, to support this huge human population <laughs> with the increase in population the demand for space food resources and employment increases now more people are getting born more and more uh, people are getting added day by day so naturally they will require more space that means they will require more houses they will require more and more buildings to be built for them to have uh, for them to live they they will also require more and more food so the more and more food that they will require uh, uh, so because of which they will have to increase the agricultural land and from where will they increase the agricultural land by cutting down the trees then they will require more and more resources and they will also require more and more employment and because employment uh, they uh, because employment is also required more and more job opportunities have to be created uh, for this more and more industries have to be built uh, for uh, for these people this directly leads to the clearing of forest or deforestation so this is uh, this what does this uh, population growth directly lead to what is the ultimate impact of overpopulation it leads to the uh, uh, to the destruction of forest or to the cutting down of the forest <laughs> the employment requirements of pe of the people lead to an increase in industrialization industrialization also demands deforestation now here we see that <coughs> uh 
the employment requirements of the people also increase uh, because uh, it leads to industrialization and industrialization also leads for deforestation that means uh, trees are cut down jungles are destroyed the waste of the industries are dumped in the river beds or released into the air which causes pollution <laughs> so the more the people the more the industries will be there uh, the more the trees will be cut off from there and the more the people more and more pollution will be caused day by day because this industrial waste will be dumped into the river beds or it will be released into the atmosphere which causes severe pollution air and water pollution so here we see how overpopulation is directly related to uh, overpopulation is directly related to the pollution it is related to climate change and how the environment suffers because human population is increasing day by day on a very very large scale the more the population we see the more and more forests are getting cut cut out Uh, because of which the level of oxygen the uh, the level of the we see that plants they take in the poisonous gases and the carbon dioxide and they release oxygen so oxygen uh, production of the world becomes less carbon dioxide and poisonous gases are let into the atmosphere which leads to air pollution and air uh, uh, and uh, and uh, problems in the air the employment requirements of the people lead to an increased okay so this we have seen then uh, next term that we want to know is global warming climate change has brought about global warming pollution has brought about global warming so what is this global warming that everyone is talking about global warming is a phenomena of a gradual increase in the temperature near the earth surface surface now we see that the that the globe or the world is becoming hotter and hotter day by day our planet earth is becoming more and more hot day by day that is that means the temperature is increasing of the earth now this is now uh, bringing about uh, uh, different kinds of problems uh, for 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 the environment Uh, due to the industrial revolution the emission of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has increased uh, a few years back before the industrial revolution was there uh, uh, we see that the uh, carbon dioxide the release of carbon dioxide was uh, very less compared to what it is now but because of the massive industries and every country is going for industries and industrial revolution we see that the carbon dioxide is increasing day by day and the atmosphere is full of these poisonous gases increased levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere reduces the ph level of the uh, ocean water the more and more carbon dioxide is there in the atmosphere it is going to reduce the ph level of the ocean water it is going to make the water more and more acidic which is again going to kill so many different fish and aquatic life and at the same time it is also going to hamper the health of the people ocean acidification becomes a major threat to aquatic animals and decreases the formation of corals so uh, there there are the these are the different uh, uh, creatures the, that is the corals which are in the sea uh, the corals are getting decreased day by day the ocean acidification is a major threat to the aquatic plants animals as well as plants <laughs> the limitation of coral growth affects the habitat of coral animals larger aquatic animals will also face the threat due to the increase in the acidity of water it affects the respiratory system of aquatic animals the uh, respiratory system or the breathing system of the fish or the things that are in the or the living organisms that are in the water is hampered because of the acidic nature of water so naturally they die or they are affected and because of which uh, because, uh, because of which uh, the it is it is causing such a huge stress and such a great problem on the environment so here we see global warming is a very very uh, a crucial thing it is something which is going to affect us all 
Now, because of global warming, what is happening? Uh, more and more water is getting evaporated day by day. <laughs> Uh, and because of which uh, there are unseasonal rains, amount of rains in certain places are falling more, which is leading to flash floods, which is leading to uh, wet famines, and which is and ultimately the farmers are uh, are uh, are suffering to a greater extent. Then impact of global warming on the environment. What is the impact of this global warming on? the environment or on the day-to-day -day life. Rise in temperature. Global warming has led to an incredible increase in Earth's temperature. Since the 1880s, the Earth's temperature has increased by uh, more than one degree. Uh, this has resulted in the increase in the melting of glaciers, which have led to an increase in the sea level. Uh, this could have devastating effects on coastal regions. Now, uh, global warming has uh, uh, given, uh, what is global warming? It is, it is the rise in temperature uh, of the Earth's surface. Uh, and we, have, we are seeing that uh, gradually, slowly but surely, the Earth's temperature is increasing day by day. And because of which, what is happening is that the glaciers which are on the poles, the snow caps which are on the poles, they are on the North Pole and the South Pole, they are melting steadily. Because they are melting, uh, that water is coming into the rivers, the rivers are getting flooded and that water is getting added into the sea. Uh, and because of which the level of the sea is drastically increasing day by day. Uh, what is the impact of this global warming on the islands and upon the coastal regions? We see that most of the islands uh, have disappeared. Uh, they, have, they got submerged under the sea because the uh, sea level or sea water level is increasing day by day. Most of the islands are getting submerged. Uh, we see that the coastal areas uh, are also having problems. Uh, most of the buildings and most of the coastal areas are also getting uh, submerged into the water. It is said that in, in, if uh, this global warming process is not stopped or if the earth is getting warm at this, uh, at this uh, particular uh, uh, fashion, uh, we see that most of the islands will get disappeared most of the islands will disappear uh, and most of the coastal regions will also be lost uh, because of the rise in the sea level water. So this is a very, very serious issue uh, because uh, where will those people go? Huge islands having thousands and thousands of people like take for example, uh, most of our population is located on the coast, sea coast like Mumbai. In Mumbai also, uh, crores of people are staying. If uh, the sea level rise is happening steadily, then all the coastal regions or people staying near the seas, they will have to vacate their homes and houses and they will have to go away from Mumbai. So, not only Mumbai, but all the coastal cities uh, and the coastline of the world will suffer such uh, great disaster or will suffer such great problems. <laughs> So, this is uh, leading to the melting of the glaciers. Uh, the melting, the glaciers are uh, the source of fresh water on the earth. And uh, this, if this fresh water melts away and goes into the sea, then we see that the salinity of the sea will also decrease. Uh, the saltiness of the sea will also decrease and it will cause a lot of problems on the aquatic life in that particular sea. Then threats to the ecosystem. Global warming is also causing, first thing it is uh, giving rise to temperature and the second thing it is, uh, uh, second problem that it is creating, it is creating a big threat to the ecosystem. Global warming has affected the coral reefs that can lead to the loss of plant and animal lives. So, because the coral reefs are getting lost because of global warming, uh, it is going to naturally cause a great loss of plant and animal lives. Increase in global temperatures has made the fragility of coral reefs even worse. So, the, the increasing temperature, the global temperature, because it is increasing, it is, called, it is making the 
summers to be very very uh, summers to be uh, very very harsh or the temperatures are go going above 40 degrees in most of the cities so which is uh, causing a lot of health issues which is causing a lot of problems for the health and for the well-being of human beings then third thing it is cause causing is uh, climate change uh, global warming has led to a uh, change in climatic conditions the climatic condi conditions are getting changed seasons are getting changed rain is getting delayed there are droughts at some places and floods at some uh, we see that there are famines There's in some places it rains very heavily causing a lot of floods and a lot of damage and in certain places it is not raining at all because of which famines are created this climatic imbalance is a result of global warming so we see uh, unseasonal rains isn't it we, we all know what are unseasonal rains we usually have rains during the time of monsoons but sometimes we see that uh, rains uh, the, there are showers of rain which come any time during the time of the year which destroy the uh, the harvest which destroy the agricultural produce uh, which causes great financial burden uh, or which which is a great financial loss for the farmers <laughs> then spread of diseases the spread of uh, spread of diseases also happens because of global warming global warming leads to the to a change in the patterns of heat <coughs> and humidity this has led to the movement of mosquitoes that carry and spread diseases so because uh, the world is becoming more and more humid uh, uh, the patterns of heat and humidity are changing uh, not only mosquitoes but different kinds of viruses different kinds of bacteria are also getting multiplied which causes lot of diseases and sicknesses then the next point is high mortality rates due to an increase in floods tsunamis and other natural calamities the average death toll usually increases also such events uh, can bring about the spread of diseases that can hamper human life so ultimately human beings suffer for what they are doing uh, the uh, because of increase of floods tsunamis and natural calamities a uh, lot of people die because of this uh, it takes a huge toll on human life uh, it hampers the human life to a to a very big extent and then second thing uh, the next thing is that happens is loss of natural habitat loss of natural habitat a global shift in the climate leads to the loss of habitats of several plants and animals several plants and animals which had their living in a particular place that habitat itself is destroyed in this case the animals need to migrate uh, from their natural habitat and many of them even become extinct so uh, most of the animals they have to leave one particular place and go into other uh, and at the same time most of the animals and birds they are getting extinct day by day they are getting disappeared day by day <laughs> then uh, one more important uh, point here is ozone depletion <laughs> what is ozone depletion we see that ozone is a gas uh, which uh, which which gives a which is like a blanket which protects the atmosphere which protects the earth uh, the earth's atmosphere so ozone layer is renowned for its ability to absorb harmful ultraviolet rays that would otherwise be detrimental to the health of all walks of life so ozone layer is a layer of gas Uh, which is around the atmosphere which does not allow the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun to reach the earth ultraviolet rays uh, can cause cancer and so many other diseases in human beings uh, and it can also lead to uh, more and more heat generated on the earth so this particular ozone is protecting or this ozone layer a uh, gas layer is protecting these harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun to come directly on the earth depletion of the crucial ozone layer of the atmosphere is attributed to pollution caused by chlorine and bromide uh, uh, found in chlorofluorocarbons cfcs 
uh, once these toxic gases reach the upper atmosphere, they create a hole in the ozone layer, the biggest of which is above the Antarctic. So we see these particular gases uh, uh, um, through the pollution, they are the chloro, fluoro, carbon, CFCs. Uh, these are released from the earth through the industries. Uh, they rise up into the uh, atmosphere and they cause a hole or they create a crater in the ozone layer. And because of which, uh, through this particular uh, hole, uh, we see that the uh, ultraviolet rays of the sun, they directly strike the, uh, strike the Earth's surface. And because of which, so many deadly diseases are caused. The greatest, uh, biggest uh, uh, hole uh, or depleted ozone hole is caused uh, in the Antarctic. So here we see that how uh, we, we have gone through how uh, these anthropogenic changes uh, which are created by human beings, they are uh, affecting the entire environment. And sadly to say that uh, it is human beings who are causing this particular kind of, uh, uh, kind of problems for the environment and for the habitat. And at the same time, we see that because of that, human beings are the ultimate people who are suffering it. We are the ones who face the end result. It is our health which is getting spoiled. It is our lives that are getting shorter and shorter day by day. We are not able to live a quality life because we are uh, not protecting the environment. We are causing so much of problems and so much of pollution in the environment. So uh, there's a relationship between human beings and the environment. And we have seen how human activities, that is anthropogenic activities, they are uh, impacting our environment. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, with this, we finish the second topic of uh, uh, Unit 9 of SET. Uh, if you like this uh, particular teaching, you can share, you can subscribe, and you can like, uh, like this particular video. Thank you so much.